Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So a lot of you guys know that the 335 has been going through some serious stuff with having to do with emissions and things. So the support that you guys have been giving me on the car and you guys' patience mean the world. But I also want to shout out another company. They have their own website called twoplayergames.org. I'm going to have the link down in the description. They reached out to me and they sponsored this video. So if you guys want to show them some love and just check out their games down below. Pretty much their games are online. They're completely free. You know me, on my free time, I'm always just playing Fortnite or something. And when I get bored, I'm not really trying to buy another game. So this website has tons of games for free. New ones come out every single week and they're two players. They're two players and the best part is it's on the same PC. You don't, have, you don't need to have two different PCs to play a two player game. You can play it on the exact same PC, play together, all kinds of mini games completely free. You can also play these games on your mobile device, so if you guys are looking into some new games on your phone, it's a website full of games, completely free. You guys can check it out on your phone, and you guys can see I'm saying free a lot, mainly because nothing in this world is free, and finding something that is, you know, sounds too good to be true, but in this case, it's true. So again, shout out to them. If you guys could just help me by checking them out down below, that I mean the world. I really do appreciate them sponsoring this video. That actually really helps with me getting this card in BMW and figuring out what's the true cause of what's up with the pressure in my car, why I won't pass smog and all this stuff, so shout out to them. And without further ado, let's get into the 335. All right, we're back in vlogging mode. So we're gonna go underneath the car and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take out the canister. As you guys can see right here, went ahead and purchased a new canister. I don't know if you guys can see that. New canister and a uh, new DMTL pump. The reason why I purchased pretty much a new DMTL pump and a new canister, because these are OEM BMW, and I'm trying to put OEM BMW parts into this car, so when I take it to the diagnostics and have any other issue that I don't really know what it could be caused by, if you have OEM parts, they'll be able to at least test them to see if that's the root cause, or it's not. If you have an aftermarket part, they can't really get their computers to test the systems, and it just makes their life harder, makes my life harder, and I, I really can't tell what's the actual problem with the car. So I did order that stuff. Hopefully this should fix the pressure in my system. Let's see if you guys can actually notice the pressure in my system real quick. Let me unlock the car. But yeah, I'm actually rushing to do this because I'm trying to pick up a spare rim for the 330i. So uh, I gotta go meet him in a little bit. Let me see if I can get any sound to come out of this trunk for you guys. See, what happens is when I unplug the, the... Oh, actually, there's no pressure right now, which is really impressive. I'm actually super shocked. But usually when I open this, there's a lot of pressure. So, um, um, replace the canister, and hopefully that should fix our problem. All right, guys, so I just got out of the gas station, and there was still pressure in the tank, unfortunately. So, that means it's probably either gonna be the, the temperature purge valve or something. Not the temperature, what's it called? It's like a pressure purge valve or something. I'm not really sure the exact name of it, but I did order that. It should come in the next day or two. We will install that, and hopefully that should fix it. If it doesn't fix it, um, I did, I already replaced the solenoid, the, what's it called, the vacuum solenoid. So if it still doesn't fix it, in that case, I will have to take it down to BMW, but shout out to the sponsor, and you guys should check out the link down in the description, just help them out. Shout out to them, I will be able to do the diagnostic without feeling as bad, because you guys know all the money that I'm getting right now, I'm saving up, saving up, I'm trying to make this car the best that it could be, and diagnostics, you know, 175 here and there, just it hurts, it hurts, it's, just, it's not nothing, it's a lot of money for them just to plug in a computer into your car. All right, so I'm going, on to, I'm going to go down and pick up the wheel, and uh, we're going to see if I get the service engine light on the way back or not. Um, I haven't had it in two days, but but you know, I, it could come back today with my luck. Like that's when you know you're something wrong with your fuel tank. See it says 97, it keeps going up. It was at 61 when I actually just filled it up, and now it says 97. So if I wait a little bit longer, that's gonna hit 98, just watch. Bam, one street down, already at 99. That's not looking so good. I was whenever I gas it, let me show you guys when I gas it through this street right here. Wait for the stupid light, come on. There we go, look, put some gas in it. It's at 99 guys, at 99. One hundred. You guys see that? So it just goes up on its own. All right, guys. Damn. I even caught that on camera. You guys saw that. Um, so I'm here over here trying to pick up some rims for the 330i. You guys already know. Um, so I yeah, the other day that I picked up the what's it called? When I picked up the bumper for the 330i, ran into some subscribers. I don't know if I told you guys about that. But also, shout out to these guys. You watch my videos as well. I'm here to pick up some rims, and you know we're just checking out their cars. He's got a 335i. What was that an LCI, right? Yeah. LCI 335 looks amazing. I'm actually gonna help him with that. He's got a little bit of a paddle shift problem, so we'll figure that out for you guys. And then uh, his brother's got a ZHP E46, which is super clean. Honestly, one of the cleanest ones I've seen. <laughs> All right, guys. So it turns out he's gonna turn on his uh, his E46 and show us his straight pipe. This is gonna be ridiculous. It's hella late at night too. How old's your brother? Uh, uh 20. 20? Not yeah. bad. 
And uh, this is like his 17th car. <laughs> oh, he's getting cars. All right, guys, he's about to turn it on for you guys to show you guys a little bit of a rev. Obviously it has, so this is like the ZHP has the non-leather seats, right? Yeah. It's funny how like BMW, the, the, the luxury package is non-leather and the base models are leather. It's kind of crazy. Got the M wheel as well, also an Alcantara. Looks super clean. Damn, bro, but that's a really clean E46. Yeah, late. I got some. So Nancy. All right, well that took a weird turn of events. So anyways, um, let's go ahead and get the canister out. So I don't know if I, the, if it even recorded, but um, basically what I was doing is that I ordered a new canister and a new DMTL pump. Let me see if I can find it right here real quick. This guy, so this is the one that was currently in my car, the, the original canister and the re original DMTL pump. Um, I put that in my car and there's literally no difference. Let me show you guys again what happens when I open up the gas tank. Guys in here, that just sounds so bad. All right, guys. So not only did the canister not work, but let me show you guys what happened today. It's the first time it rained the entire summer, and I don't know if you guys can see this. Basically, I forgot that a bullet went through here. We repaired it perfectly, but a bullet went through here and basically made two holes and the water came through here and went all over my amp and I heard static, so I'm pretty sure my amp is toast. So that really sucks the boote and um, cleaned it all up, I dried it all up, but unfortunately I think the amp is toast. Good news is, <laughs> we're looking at the bright side here because that's what we're all about. Um, did pick up the fourth rim to match the 330i because I'm gonna be taking the 330i rims, put it on the 335 because it will look a whole lot better and take these rims and put it on the 330i. I feel like these ones will look a whole lot better on the 335, at least for now. I think they look pretty sick and at least I have the other three with good tires. All I gotta do is purchase one more tires. These have the sensors as well. So perfect rim, got it for $30. If you guys also need any single rims or a pair of rims, the guy I purchased it from is a subscriber, so I'm gonna hook him up. Um, he's actually selling his rims for the low. He's selling for, I think, three of his rims, one of them with a tire for like $100 or something like that. For OEM rims, guys, these are those are really good prices. I got this for a steal from him because he knew me, so I really do appreciate him again. And that same goes with the bumper. You guys, you guys are asking me, how did I get a bumper for 55 bucks? I got the hookups, guys. I love you guys so much, always hooking it up. But yeah, if you guys want any wheels, um, I mean, any of the, the other three rims that match this, uh, two of them are, one of them are a little bit dented, the other one's cracked, and one of them is perfect. So if you have any use for any of those, I, this is worth mentioning for him. I wanna at least uh, you know, bring it up to you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna put this room in the backyard. I'm gonna go inside, clean up a little bit, do some research, see what it could possibly be, and get back to you guys. All right guys, since this stuff didn't work, but it didn't give me any other lights, I'm assuming all this works, which is a DMTM pump and a canister. If you guys need any of this stuff, let me know. I ended up buying it for 70 to try it on my car. It'll be a pretty messed up move to try to return it um, because, you know, you buy it, it's yours. You're not gonna return it and make him feel like, oh, I just got, you know, the money, and then now he has to refund it because I wasn't happy that it wasn't the part that I needed. He sold me a good working part. I'm not gonna go ahead and try to return it, but if you guys need that part, let me know. I purchased around 70. If I can get something around that back, that'd be great. I think it's a pretty good deal because the canister alone is like 200 bucks from what I saw. I got a good deal. So what I also ended up replacing was this little dude right here. Uh, this is actually located, let me show you guys where this is at. This is actually located right here as you get to see. Um, it has two hoses connected to it. I ended up replacing that 
And uh, so far the code hasn't came back up, so I feel like that did do something. So this is the OEM part, I'm keeping it just in case I gotta take the car and diagnose it at BMW. Um, just in case they might need that part, I'm not sure. But uh, I did end up replacing that. So that's one thing I replaced. I tested out the DMTL, tested out the canister. If you guys have any idea what could possibly be that's pressurizing my gas tank, let me know because then I can finally pass smog and start installing all the mods. It's all sitting up there, guys. It's sitting up there. I just need you guys' help here. Now, before we actually go inside, because Ansel, the company Ansel, has been hooking it up. I mean, look at this fancy stuff right here. They sent me out a battery tester, which I'll be making another video on, but man, I mean, the thing is, you guys know, I've always been having my car, has been, my battery's been dying, especially the 335, and I don't know if it's because of the battery, the alternate, or whatever, those battery testers, I mean, these battery testers are like, like the real deal. They actually tell you the exact voltage and everything, and it prints out a receipt on top of that, so you can take it inside, do your research. I think that's pretty dope. I will be using that in another video. But also, another thing they sent me out, and I don't know if I made a video on it, um, was the Ansel uh, code reader. This reads um, pretty much check engine lights, and it also reads your your pretty much your smog readiness. So it tells you if your car is ready for smog, or like all the systems are up, or is it not up. So of course, in my case, it's very useful, so I know if my systems are up, and uh, my service engine light's not gonna come back. So let me show you guys how this works real quick. All you gotta do is plug it in, put your car in accessory mode, there's not really much to it. And then uh, you pull out the OBD, it automatically turns on. Um, so you guys can see it says OBD right here. First, I mean, it's focusing on my face. Why my face? Focus on the scanner. So I'm on the scanner, I wanna click on OBD, so I'm gonna go ahead and click enter. Uh, enter again, ECU one, read codes. You can even erase codes. That's pretty dope considering how cheap this is. I think it was like 45 bucks. Really good deal, but shout out to them for sending this out. I have a link down in the description if you guys want this, by the way. And then I could, I'm going to click current codes, and it says I have no service engine light codes, which is great. Um, that's as of now. So if I go back, I can also click this middle button right here, and this will run the systems and see what is, uh, you know, what, what modules are working right now and what modules haven't kicked in yet. So my cat my EVAP and my uh, CATS, I mean, O2S, I mean, um, has not kicked in yet. So I'm waiting on those to kick in to truly know if my smog, if my car's ready, if my service engine light is on or not. So once all these are green, I'll know if, you know, if my car has a problem or not. That service engine light's only on because it's in accessory mode right now. If I actually turn off the car, you guys can see how, how easy it is to turn on too. Turns on with no problems. So. Almost out of gas though, so that's always good. So again guys, the car has no hesitation, canister is good, uh, whatever this little thing is, I think it's a temperature controller is good. Um, you know, and my DMTL pump is good. So if you guys could really let me know what the hell is going on with my fuel tank, that would be amazing. I'm actually just going to let you guys know what I find in the next video. But yeah, guys, please smash that like button. And I'm Because I'm trying to bring this baby to life. I'm trying to just get it to pass smog. Screw California regulations. Once I get this thing to pass smog, we'll finally be able to put all the mods, wrap the car, put on the aesthetic mods. We have so much things planned, guys. But... You know, California hates me right now. So, so without further ado, love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble, and uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know. You're all I